All right, so y'all take a fan here as I'll see by the today's video more dunks equal more dunks We'll explain so I feel like the more dunk animations that you have equipped on your build The more you actually dunk the ball and in situations especially for a big man where you are going for standing dunks stuff like this I mean you have all types of animations if you're strictly going for quick drops off one and strictly that and just contact dunks Otherwise, I feel like you're not gonna see as many dunks and on top of that, too I feel like you do get more contact dunks for literally just having more animations on aka the Dwight Howard Shaquille O'Neal, the list goes on and on. Daryl Dawkins, whatever the case may be. We'll go over the animations and stuff like that. I'll showcase the build, all the badges, the ratings and stuff like that as well. This is my seven footer right here. You can see the standing contact dunks are going crazy on this build. Everything to do with it in terms of just dunking the ball as well. In traffic, stuff like this as well. Again, the whole point of this video is to talk about how I feel like the more dunk packages that you have equipped on your build, the more you actually do dunk the ball. But I've played on many different builds, including this one right here, with less animations equipped, aka what we were talking about earlier, just the quick drops off one and standing contact dunk packages. And you don't see this type of dunking with your build. Now, I do have a couple basic standing dunk ones that I wanted to do very quick dunks for, but this stuff right here, I don't think quickness is really what you worry about when it comes to the dunk animations, especially with a badge like Fast Switch as well, which accelerates slower dunk animations anyway. And you can see, I mean, through all these clips right here, this build goes absolutely insane when it comes to the standing dunks whether it's the contact dunks off the standing anything like that look at this go off the passing lane boom go straight up contact dunk just like that i also do want to say as well i think having more dunk animations gives you more contact dunks just in general and then last clip right here you're gonna see we get a snatch block pretty basic dunk off this one right here but i kind of wanted to showcase this as well so after the little mini mixtape that we just showed right there i want to showcase the build if you guys enjoy this video feel free to drop a like sub if you're new turn on the noties all good stuff and like always try one 1000 likes now I do want to mention these ones that you see in yellow these are with sleeves on i've tried putting the sleeve on to get 84 driving dunk to see if i can get driving contact dunks that's not the case you have to have 84 for the actual animations it doesn't work like that but i just wanted to test it out to let you guys know that that's the case but again 99 standing dunk 93 close shot we have 84 really 83 driving dunk and with all the defensive attributes you can see the block rating 98 just because of the sleeve again things like vertical i don't think this really influences the dunks that you will get but once again i mean we're here to talk about the animation so we're going to show that as well all right, so you can see in my dunk styles, I have what I presumed would be comp, quote unquote, where it's a little bit more clean and less sloppy, so to say, where it has a lot less animations in it and it was going to be more condensed. This many one right here, I made this just to be kind of flashy with it, to be honest. I didn't even mean to come out here and try and be better or to be even more, like I said, more clean or anything like that. It wasn't going to be intended to be comp. It was just more to be flashy and stuff like that. Now, with this right here, as we go into the dunk creator and showcase the many, this is where we're going to talk about this stuff man again i come out here with anything i can get in terms of the contact dunks or the alley-oops or whatever the case may be i can't get elite i can't get any like driving contact dunks or anything like that park alleys i kind of want to lay off of i don't think you really want those but again here's where you're going to see where we are going all out when it comes to these dunk animations the only thing we don't have equipped that i have unlocked is draymond green and scotty pippen i feel like these didn't really pertain enough to the big man style of dunks that I wanted. If you clicked on this video for the purpose of driving dunks, I don't know if this is exactly better, to be honest with you. It may help you get contact dunks, but it's definitely not going to help in the situation of trying to be clean and condensed when it comes to ISO. If you're coming out here with ISO and you got a really high three-point rating, people have to play you really high. The quick drops off one are probably all you should really have. If you don't have the ability to even get contact dunks in the first place, honestly, I do think that all you should really have is the quick drops off one just in general. But again, for the bigs out there, and this is what this video is more so intended for, Things like the Dwight Howard, Sean Kemp, Shaq, even Ben Simmons for the sake of a couple really nice driving dunks and stuff like that. Daryl Dawkins, again, nice big man dunks. Blake Griffin, Cat, the list goes on and on. Giannis, I mean, man, these dunks come out here and they really do allow you to perform more dunks in the situation that if you didn't have them on, you wouldn't even do it in the first place. And I'm sure you guys, if you've come out here with, for instance, my seven foot three has very few dunk animations on because I want to be really condensed with it. I don't want to be doing flashy stuff. That was my thought. I didn't want to be coming out here and doing stupid dunks that take super long to dunk the ball below the basket on, and it made no sense to do that. But instead, I went and just pretty much equipped everything, and now it's playing at an even more competitive rate. And again, maybe dunking the ball with just my X button isn't exactly skill-based or competitive or comp, but at the end of the day, it is dunking the ball at a way more elite rate than it ever has before. And again, with all those packages equipped, it's going crazy. Now, I do want 
want to clear things up though. Like I mentioned, this video is more so for the sake of the big men and getting more standing dunks. I feel like you don't really want to cloud up your driving dunks with different animations like rim grazers, hangs, back scratchers, windmills, reverses, tomahawks, double clutch. It makes no sense to do that stuff. The only thing I think you should have for the moving dunk animations is going to be quick drops off one and then reverse baseline reverses off one. It's literally the most simple animations you can get and the most comp animations and the fastest dunks you can get when it comes to the driving dunks. And this will pop off every single time, whether you hold down on the stick for your meter or if you hold up on the stick just to get the quick drops to pop off. As long as you're not clouding it up with a bunch of different animations, that equals good. And that's why I was a little bit skeptical, to be honest with you, when it came to the under basket athletic animations or the rim pulls. Literally, all I did was put one hand under basket regular and two hand under basket regular, and that got the job done for me. I felt like these are the fastest, quickest, and no nonsense, no BS animations that you could put on. But like I said, now after seeing the light of day with all of these animations that have popped off right here, you definitely want to put as many on as possible at this big man spot. All right, so now we get a quick little full gameplay to showcase what I'm talking about in today's video. So I score 10 points in this game. I get five dunks and one is gonna be a semi open one. Four of them are super contested. I even get like a big man contact dunk in one of these as well. So long story short, I want to showcase in a full gameplay how this all works. It's only like four minutes long, so I hope you all enjoy. Like I said, if you made it to this point in the video, put dunks in the comments, search sports made all the way through. But either way, you're going to see me and Tonic come out here. This is a really fun lineup to run to, I must say. Tonic is out here on a six foot six point guard. We're doing pick and roll. He's doing fades. He's doing shot creator stuff all around. It was super fun to play like this, to be honest. And again, you're going to see, I can do a little bit more with this because I don't have a super small point guard on the court. I don't got to put the ball in his hands every single play. Again, you're going to see, come out here hit a couple pump fakes and then boom just go straight up this is crazy bro like this literally looks like Shaq on that on that one white dude and <laughs> he just absolutely threw him to the ground i don't know who his name is and then the dude when he got on the ground he threw the ball at Shaq as he was running down the court i wish i wish my dude would have just pushed him to the ground right there and that animation was in 2k that would have been so fire But again, I feel like that's more of a Dwight Howard, Shaquille O'Neal dunk package right there. That obviously wouldn't have popped off if I only had a couple basic dunk packages on when it comes to the big man ones. And again, I don't even think I would have dunked the ball right there. And honestly, it really does prove how this is so valuable. Now, at the end of the day, close shot and paint defense or interior defense is really, really bad in this game when it comes to defending the close shots. So I don't know if it's the end of the world if you don't dunk the ball in that situation, but it's really nice to know that it's just going to go in no matter what, as long as you go up for the dunk. And at the end of the day, it also looks cool. And it's kind of fun too, to just dunk like this stuff as well. Now you're going to see, I record every single clip that I score in terms of getting this basket right here. I wanted to compile some clips for the intro video that I showed. And again, I've been thinking about this video for a while. I just wanted to be a little bit more patient with it and have a couple more clips. I really just went super overboard. I didn't want to make the intro <laughs> clip like five minutes long. All right, so we can't get Tonic open for nothing. He's over here dribbling the air out the ball. I can't get him open off the screens. This guy finally jumps with one second left. Tonic puts the shot up. You guys are probably sitting here wondering like, wait, why are you over here using this gameplay, bro? You out here scoring two points. They got, your whole team has 14. Like, what's going on here? So on this one right here, you can see I run a really quick slip. I feel like I can get him on this and we just kind of go. It's really weird playing like this too, where we have the point guard working from such close range, but it's so cool to do different stuff like this. And again, honestly, when it comes to twos, anything Think can be toxic like this is hard for people to guard honestly and we have a six foot six pg who can play really elite defense with it too but either way nice animation right there i don't want to make too much of it but it is what it is then like i said i'm not cutting anything out of this game so i go down i go for the drop step he pokes me it is what it is honestly if i don't get poked right there and i didn't hold x either i was just going to hit the drop step and then pump fake a couple times and go up with it but again, I don't want to cut anything out. Tonic is the steal though. I'm down here. And again, this is one of the intro clips right here. It's a really, really crazy thing to be able to see this right here where I'm able to off the steal, come down here, boom, pump fake. I know he's going to jump. Now I know he's going to jump again. Now in this traffic right here, I just go up straight like that. And again, boom, just off the steal. I come down here for the pump fake. These guys aren't the biggest defenders or anything like that, but it's so nice to see this where you just rise straight up and go for that dunk. And again, the more animations you have, the more likely something that will work out is going to pop off. Maybe you'll get blocked here and there from behind the back or something like that off doing these crazy like cock back behind your head dunks and stuff like that. But chances are you're getting way more dunks in terms of the pick and roll aspect or the mashing, whatever the case may be off the drop steps, the post spins going down in the paint and sitting there waiting for them to jump. 
I mean, honestly, it all looks really, really good in terms of just coming out here and dunking. Again, I go for this slip right here. He hits me mad late, but <laughs> I drop down. I get bumped. Boom, fly up there and just dunk over his head, bro. Like, what even is that? I mean, <laughs> look at this. I come out here, get a really bad catch. I'm out here in really bad position. Just go straight up over his head. He's playing hands up D. He's doing everything he can. The only thing he could have done differently is jump. But if he jumps and I didn't go up, then boom, I just have a free layup or a free dunk straight like that. So again, this is crazy to see, bro. I don't know what animation that even is. It's probably like Daryl Dawkins or something like that. I don't even know who it could have been. <laughs> if you guys want to leave timestamps for what animation you think is popping off for every dunk, feel free to let me know. This one right here, quick, quick go up off the pump fake and honestly man again you're gonna see me recording these clips because i'm trying to get them for the intro but it's crazy that i got like four of these in one video that just looks so so good and none of these ended up being layups again on my seven foot three where i don't have animations like this equipped and i've got the basic really simple ones i don't get animations like this i just lay the ball up and again at the end of the day things like mouse in the house grace under pressure having super high close shot being super tall it doesn't really matter that much you still make them pretty often but sometimes they don't sometimes a good jump is going to get you a contest that you can't make the shot on whereas then getting a good jump right there at the end and i still go up and rise straight up over his head and dunk the ball it's something that i don't have to deal with the bs rng of maybe making the shot or maybe not whatever the case may be so anyway that's off video hope you all enjoyed if you did for the drop a like sub if you're new to them notice all that good stuff and like always tries one one thousand likes like i said if you made it to the end of the vid put dunk or put rise up in the comments to show your support man all the way through and again i do want to take you guys back to all the contact dunks that we got off stuff like this as well i really do think this boosts your ability of getting contact dunks whether it shows or not i really really do think this is going to help with that situation i mean the second that i put this stuff on i'm out here coming with way way more contact dunks than i ever got before and again you can see some of these clips are from season three this is like a couple days right before the patch had come in and i will say I'm not gonna lie. I'm playing around with this right here, the dunk meter. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This really is looking kind of crazy when it comes to the standing dunks. They're very hard to perform. The timing on it is so, so quick that it's really hard to deal with. And, you know, I'm coming out here still doing some standing contact dunks off just tapping X button like you'll see in this one right here. But again, really cool clips right here. I just was having so much fun playing like this. I will say this much too. You have to be faced up with the basket to be getting these dunks. Obviously, in this situation where I'm getting pump fakes and my guys are just kind of facing backwards, do not hold X in these situations. Allow your player to face up with the basket and boom then you can go for the dunk and again standing contact dunk put them on the floor with literally the x button it's crazy bro it really is and again i was not getting dunks like this before putting these animations on so anyway that's off video hope you all enjoyed none of that take these man peace